Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Um, today's set we're going to be dedicated to doing some storyline events, possibly even another um, secondary quest that pops up after a certain quest, part, mo quest milestone is made. Uh, we'll see about that. Hopefully we'll be able to get that if I can get that done in time. It's going to be a long set if I can get that done. But today, we're going to start with scientific pursuits and try to go through uh, Waters of Life. Whoop. Maybe one quest after that if I can get the other quest done. So I'm just going to try and zip through this as much as possible. Alright, so we need to find Dr. Lee. Thankfully, I already know where she's at. She's pretty easy to find. She's here in Rivet City. Um, in the back. Technically, we could skip this quest entirely. Um, if we know where... Uh, she'll basically send us. We can skip this and go straight into Tranquility Lane. We can technically skip all the uh, storyline quests up to this point by going to Tranquility Lane. But, yeah, it's not a lot of fun doing it that way. Plus, you miss the trophies. Hey there. Not you. Lee! Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's daughter, aren't you? What are you doing here? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Good luck finding your father. You just told me not to go look for him, and now you wish me luck? Shut up, Lee! Make no sense! Alright, so, um, off-screen, all I did was restock my stem packs. Really, that's all I did. Um, as well as sell some stuff I didn't need, and repair my gear. So, the trusty... If it will... Come on. This is a medical clinic. There we go. Please wow, that was lagged. My shish kebab's fixed. Good to see you. Thank you. Ugh. Stiff neck. Sorry. Let's right, keep going. I've also uh, been leveling up a little bit. I didn't do much leveling up because I didn't do anything off screen. Um, hey. but I got enough to be able to get my repair up pretty high. I wish we were working on my lockpick though. Hmm. Now, ah, well. Fortunately, the Jefferson Memorial is not that far from here. We can really dive into the water outside and go swimming for it. 298 stem packs. Wow, that's a lot of stem packs. Can I fast travel there? Yep. Awesome. I haven't cleared the place out yet, so. Which is kind of what we need to do. Yeah. I am hoping I can get the, uh,. Other quests done as well. Time to die. Yep. Hmm. That just seemed very easy. Like either these super mutants are really, really freaking weak, or I'm just really powerful. Ha. Ha! 
So powerful. Love it. Alright, sheath you. There's supposed to be, supposed to be a, ah, there's the door. There's a door here somewhere. Alright, let's do this. Hey, buddy. Why, you? You're as good as dead, mate. There's a turret right there. Ah, uh, my hack is high enough. Right, let's see here. One on nine. One on nine. Two on nine. Good to know. All right. Even though this, the system is pretty much the same as Fallout 4, I s still feel like this is harder than it, than it is in the, uh, in the next game. There we go. That's good. That's how I do it. It really doesn't work. Got it! That was pure luck. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's do... Yes. Yes, yeah, just, just let's just deactivate that. Put up a fight. Shut up! Uh, I love this thing. Game's over. Oh, how did you do that? Slowly back up. There you go. Reload. Alright then, let's do the old fashioned way. I don't see anything worthwhile in here. Ooh, hello, no. Baseball. Nope, not anything in here. Alright, we're doing good. Making good time, too. I'm about to deal with this. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you are. Come on. There we are. Oh. oh I killed you. Not worthwhile. Project Period Journals. Do, 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 miscellaneous. We're gonna find a place to store that. Uh, data. Notes. Even on Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, Whatever I could find. It was a Voltec facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Yeah. The versions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, oh, one night Centaur. After half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console and gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda. Spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. <laughs> but there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of 
Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Vault Tech's social preservation program and his work on something called GEC, the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. That's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Alright, so we now know where he's going. Anything else? Quest. Gain access to Vault 112. Alright, let's go! Luckily, I have the fast travel already done. Because I am smart that way. I also like to explore like crazy. I also knew that I had to go there eventually, so I, I intentionally went to it. There's something I did. Hope I did. Fairly certain I did. Like, 80% certain. We'll find out soon enough. Ha ha! Alright, I'm going to save for fast traveling as well. There's a glitch where sometimes it will just crash when you're going over there. I've had it happen a few times. Jaguar fast, powerful predators, and are descended from the area's black bears. Good to know! Fun side note, Jaguar basically is Chinese for bear. I'm sure there's more to it than that, but it basically just means bear. I have no clue why, mind you. They decided to, uh, name a radiated monster after the enemy in the war, but hey, whatever. I wonder who decided on that name? Anyway, who decided on all the names? Deathclaw, Radroad, stuff like that. Alright. That means goodbye, okay. Um... Oh, there's a wait, okay. I'm using my PS4 controller, so... There we go. It's a bit different. I'm not a big fan now that I've gotten used to the PS4's controlling of the PS3's controller, because... It just feels so small in comparison. To be fair, I also have giant hands, so... <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we did that. Back up. Here we are. Okay. Um, oh, crouch. Oh, miss. That didn't. <laughs> it crippled his head. Yes. Put that away. One side note, even though I don't have any equipment in my inventory anymore, bring your mole rat repellent stick here because you can uh, come across mole rats here. I already killed them, so... This is a place where I got some new color quantum. Yes, gas tank. Whoa, hello. Jeez. I remember when these guys were difficult in the beginning of the game. Now I'm kind of like, eh. Pull that. Uh, now nah, I'm good. Ooh, shit. Freak me out! Alright, in we go! Vault 112, was it? 
Yeah, I think so. I actually kind of love this place. Do, 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 do. Keep on going. Level 112. You know, this vault actually was a uh, pretty ingenious idea. It's just a shame what happens. I'll explain when we get inside. Well, when we get farther inside. <laughs> turn that off. It's, it's, it's pretty nicely lit in here. Welcome to Hi. 112, resident. According to censors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Eh, better late than never. Please redress in your vault tech issued vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Oh, uh, sure. Dress, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned tranquility lounger. Okay, sure. Why not? Let's, let's play along. Middle weapon plus two. Oh, you gave me a good weapon. Please take a seat in the nearest available tranquility lounger. Thank you sure. for your Huge. cooperation. Okay. So the basic experiment of Vault 112, as you'll see in here is a uh, virtualized simulator. Basically, um, this is the max capacity for this vault. Everything else is run by the RoboBrains or other uh, machines. You are you were to um, plug yourself into basically a virtual reality world and live a peaceful life while waiting for radiation to go away. And that was kind of it. But, yeah, things of course always go bad. Alright, so he still has flesh and bones on him. Wow. They were also nicely preserved by, by the likes of it, too. It's basically the Matrix. Okay. Let's do a quick save as well. Alright, then. Let's go ahead and do this. Once again, let's load. Save him. There we go. Alright, hop on it. <laughs> Me and my shish kebab. Oh, I would hate this. Claustrophobia is not my fr I I'm very claustrophobic. Hi! See, so yeah, it's basically the Matrix. That's basically what's going on here. <laughs> the music. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. And we finished that uh that quest. Scientific pursuits. Alright, we leveled up too. Let me see what my uh, next level is. 13, eh? That works. Okay. Uh, repair. Let's max that right the hell out. That way I can uh, fully repair everything, which is great. And next. Um, hmm. My speech sucks eggs. And the next ability I'm learning is going to be... Fast Metabolism. With Fast Metabolism perk, you gain a 20% health bonus when using stem packs. So basically, um, I just heal more whenever you use stem packs, which, as you know, I go through those like candy. This is helpful. Okay. I'm also going to do this. So I can better track of that stuff. Okay. So there are two ways we can do this. I'll pause it quickly. One is the good karma way, which is quick. The 
the negative karma way is the qu is the long way, but it's also more entertaining. I'm going for the quick one because I have that uh, other thing I want to do quickly. So. Do, 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 do. We need to find Betty. Whoa. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. You creep me out, man. No radiation. <laughs> the fantastic music. It's a doggy. Aw. Good doggy. Okay. Betty, where you at? Hi there. Betty always looks like Tim Curry to me. Look at this face when he gets close in. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Gee, I don't know. What's he like? You mean the man that came here is your daddy? And you're only here because you're looking for him? Oh, this is just too much fun. We're going to have such a good time. Let's play right now. <laughs> you don't get to say no. If I want to play a game, you're going to play. And I want to. I said I want to play a game. It's easy. You make Timmy Newsbone cry, and I'll help you. If you don't, then I guess you'll never find out where your daddy is. So yeah, we're not going to give in to Betty. Uh, this is basically what's happened here. Um, Betty here has taken over the simulation and has been tormenting these people for the past 202 years. So, yeah. No. We're not going to make Tommy cry, or the kid cry. Instead, we're going to look for an abandoned house. Is this it? This is Simpsons Residence. Hmm. The garden gnome. Where is that abandoned house? Is this it? Not Miss Henderson residence. Find Dad. Wow. Put it out. No! Am I? Holy crap, I'm a little kid. <laughs> I'm idiots. <laughs> is this it? Dithers? Nope. Nice car. God, that feels so short. That's it. Bend it out. There we are. Uh, do, inside you'll find several objects which you can activate. To proceed, we must activate them in a specific order. If we actually uh, go around, we can find the specific, the specific order by uh, talking to people. But I'm going to, uh, yeah. We need to examine the, wow, radio... The glass pitcher, the gnome, glass pitcher, cinder block, gnome, and bottle. And that opens this. Which is a command terminal. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So we're going to terminal. Before we select the option we want to do, we have all the options, learn, uh, other options to learn more about the virtual world and read through all the other... Oh, hold on a second. Uh, when we're done, we can activate the, the thing. Yeah, okay. Back. Access Chinese Invasion. Initiate. Alright. And that will uh, get us out of here with our dad. You. You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. 
We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. Don't know. Can't sleep sometimes. Hear voices. My own skin doesn't feel right. None of this is right. You've got to believe me. You've got to find that fail-safe. All right, Ed. <laughs> so Betty is Brahms. She's inside the the body of a girl, little girl. His uh, basic goal is every so often he will uh, rewrite the rewrite things. I'm gonna try this again. Uh, basically, he will uh, torture the people, then uh, wipe their memories after a few generations or so, and then do it all over again. Okay, then activate. Access. Initiate. Review documentation. Can I do it now? Program running. Proceed with caution. All right. So yeah, Brahms basically has been t torturing these people for years and years and years. Don't ask why you want to be in the body of a little girl. I have no idea. Hey, Betty. Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe. Ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. You've taken them all from me. You've left me with nothing. It's not fair. Nobody to play with ever again. Well, that's kind of what she deserves. Yeah. You can't do that here. All right, Ed. And now you. Whoa. Did I, just have to re did I just reset the thing? <laughs> That'd be funny if I did. I didn't know that happens if you punch her. Hmm. But yeah, that's kind of what the whole thing's going on here. It was supposed to be, I think, one of the fail safe. Oh, great. I have to do it again. I think it was one of those uh, fail safe uh, vaults, like um, Vault 76. But Roms hijacked it. Right, let's go through this again quickly. But yeah, for some reason, Betty looks like freaking T Tim Curry to me. It's kind of weird. We All we have to do is leave. Oh, great. I love what I'm about to do it again. Alright, level me up. Pair speech. That's metabolism. There we go. Wasn't that house? It was this one, right? No, that one. I think. Dithers. It was next to Dithers, so it's this one. Do, 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 do. Open up. Grand house. Radio. P. 
pitcher. No. No. Pitcher. Center. No. Bottle. There we go. Access. Call save info. Initiate. And there we go. Now let's get the frick out of here. Enjoy your help, Roms. Literally that easy. <laughs> I didn't even talk to Betty. And this should give us access to, uh, Dad. Whoop. There is... There it is. There he is. You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Oh, it's so good to see you. But what are you doing here? Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure the components of that technology are just what we need, what we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The overseer would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. That's my girl. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Okay, so let's go do this. Do, 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 do. So yeah, they're now all dead. What's that? The wars of life. Uh, how do I get out of here? There's the door. Do, 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 do. What's that down there? I think that's supposed to be dad. Let's check the quest quickly. Uh, go to the science lab. Okay, let's go to that. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, it is dead. It was the second way up. Weird running animation. Hey, buddy. Hello, ma'am. Actually answered me. Alright, probably dressed. We're just gonna fast shell with Ruben City. He'll, uh, he'll appear there. Once we get outside. Alright, we need to finish uh, the Wars of Life quest, which will unlock the uh, next part we need to do. Oop, that's the Morat. I didn't want to have to do this. Equip my sword! Um. Do have to reallocate all that stuff? Looks like it. Gee, that sucks. Assault rifle. No, that goes here. No, here. 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 There. Oop. There. And 
that over there. Okay. Well, that was weird. Didn't realize they uh, did that. Highly annoying. Highly annoying. Do that. Alright, and we're going fast travel to Rivet City. Just make things quicker. I'm about to level up again. Awesome. Good amount of stuff we can get. We can also get some extra stuff by going and talking to uh, Three Dog. Uh, tell him we found Dad and whatnot. Come back over there. Let's go to the city. He'll uh, he'll make it there. I hope. Must we'll save when we arrive too, just in case. Two quests in uh one set or one part. That's pretty, uh, that's not bad. It's gonna going as going to plan. I hope at least we have two more uh story quests to finish first. Now I'll uh, guess to where I need to be. Come on. Okay. Dad's still out there. There we go. Right, let's wait a few hours. Get him here. Where's he at? It's right by the Robco uh, factory. All right, so let's really wait. I believe the Wars of Life quest is going to have us uh, clear out the memorial. If I am remembering correctly. Alright. He's here. Back to full health. Woohoo! Um, not sure why the front door is closed, but okay. I heard that a bunch of former All slaves right. Call. Upper deck. Yeah, I believe it's upper deck. Come on, load up. Morning. Excuse yeah. me, security dude. In we go. Yeah, I believe that's what uh, Wars of Life is. And the next quest is fairly short as well. Hey. I told you it would work, Madison. And now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... Hey there. I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can... We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. That's my girl. It'll be good to work side by side with you, honey. 
Did you need something? All right, let's go do this. Project Purity is back at the uh, memorial. Well, I'm on time limit, lady. Alright. Is everything alright? Eh, for the most part. Let's get through here quickly. Zoom in. There we go. But yeah, I'm so curious why, uh, Dr. Brom. Wanted to uh, take the body of a little girl that looks like Tim Curry. Kind of weird, if you ask me. The girl was a unique fair girl that live uh, that has become a living conduit for radiation. You just see, hitting your first attack against an opponent will always result in a crit. Oh, I did not know that actually. That's probably what happened to the uh, the raider I shot in the freaking face. I mean, choosing to explore whatever location in the world is revealed. So go out there and explore. Now, nah, where's the fun in that? All right, everyone's everything here. all right? Hey there. Some people are in such a hurry. Did she just? No, whatever. We can't accomplish anything until we can get inside. But none of us are particularly capable fighters. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Be careful. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult. All right, there we go. Any remaining super mutant threats? Okay, let's see if we can find some. <clears throat> Come on. Game's over. Not yet, buddy. There's one. Which was like a counter or something I could use. I could have to uh, know how many there are. Okay. Right, this is where they are going to be. There's no super mutants. Okay. Into the gift shop. Oh, let's have those. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to get some attention. If the enemy's nearby and they can hear the uh, gunfire, they usually come running at me. Anything. Get the pump control. Do I need to go to the pump control? Hmm. I think I have to kill some of the uh, super mutants outside, too. Let's go check! The partial meditation perk, you gain 30 extra points of speech as long as you're ma you maintain a neutral karma level. That's kind of hard to do in this game, you know? Stay neutral. That's kind of hard to stay, uh, to be bad and do all the quests. Are you alright? Is it safe? Hmm. 
right. There's someone. I'm gonna find someone here. Come on. There we go. Good of you. Shoot you in the dick. There we go. Reload. Alright, there's still something here. This way, to the left. Aha! There you are, you piece of you take crap. Aha! You die now, human! You go. Alright, I think that is every super mutant outside. I may stop recording just so I can go, uh, hunting. And then start recording, uh, once I get everything done. Because this might take a while. I think that's everything, though, so let's go talk to Dad to make sure. But I didn't get the notification, so, hmm, who knows. It pops. I think I killed them all. Hello, honey. Are you all right? Is it safe? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to start recording for a little bit. And I'm going to kill everything. I will uh, be right back.